My guest today is Jeff Bentley, President and CEO of Northwest Federal Credit Union. Jeff, there are so many choices when it comes to opening an account, checking or savings. How do you choose your best option? Yeah, that, that's a really good question. A lot of people don't think there are a lot of options. Uh, you know, just, I, don't, I, don't, I want to check an account. And uh, it depends. It depends on uh, the type of balance uh, that you have available. So if you make a lot of money, you have a lot of uh, cash on hand, then you want something that's going to pay you some uh, dividends on that, so some interest. Uh, we have that, so we have a, a high rewards uh, checking account. If you are somewhat limited and you kind of live paycheck to paycheck and you don't have a, a lot of money in your account, um, uh, be careful because a lot of uh, institutions will advertise 0% checking uh, where they don't charge a fee. And, uh, and if you don't keep a minimum balance or some other metric, then they'll end up charging you a fee and it's all in the fine print. Uh, at Northwest, we don't. We don't charge a fee. It's, uh, it's a free checking account, uh, and there's no minimum requirement. If, uh, if you use your debit card a lot, um, uh, we have an opportunity where uh, we'll pay you a percentage of the average balance of your checking account if you use your debit card more than 12 times, for example. And so there's, there's a lot of different nuances to checking accounts that uh, people just don't think about. Uh, just know, again, because we're not profit focused, we're, we're trying to help people, we're trying to educate them on their financial awareness that um, it's worth talking to somebody that you can trust and figure out what account would be best served for you. How is a debit card different from a credit card? So a debit card uh, takes the, the cash out of the account uh, immediately. Uh, so when you pay for a service or a product, uh, that uh, do those dollars come out of your checking account. Uh, obviously on a credit card, if you pay it, it goes on to your checking a card balance or your credit card balance and um, you pay once a month. And sometimes you don't even, uh, well, well, all the time, you don't have to pay the full balance off. You can pay a, a minimum payment on it and carry a balance. We don't recommend that. We like for you to, you know, be uh, somewhat controlled, but if you run into an emergency or something like that, a credit card's a good way to kind of fund that emergency challenge and, uh, and then pay it off over time. Um, so there's very two different ways. So you don't wanna uh, drain your checking account right. uh, unless you have to uh, with an emergency. There are other pros and cons though to each one of those, right? Yeah. Debit card and credit card? Yeah, so uh, credit cards are difficult uh, to not uh, especially if you're um, uh, inexperienced and new uh, in the financial world, it's real easy uh, to charge it. And then at the end of the month when the bill comes, uh -oh. yeah, you don't quite have the money to pay it, and next thing you know, you're paying interest. And again, uh, back to uh, the credit card interest program, our interest rates are really low. We cap out at 18%. A lot of the, uh, the, the larger uh, financial institutions, they can go all the way up to 30%. And if you are late, they'll tag you at 30%. Um, a debit card uh, is just uh, an easy way to access your checking account. And so uh, we have tap and pay, so you don't have to, to touch anything. And so it's, uh, the technology continues to improve. And if, you're, uh, if you have uh, that control and you don't need to put it on a credit card, it's much probably better in the long run just to use your debit card. There are situations where a credit card offers protections that a debit card won't, right? Yeah, so like a rental car is a good example. Uh, with our credit card, uh, you automatically have rental insurance. And so when you're at uh, one of these rental agencies and they try to charge you extra for their insurance, you don't have to because you have one of our cards, it's auto automatically built in. Um, and so that's a good feature. Uh, there's a lot of other features that kind of tag along with that, but that's probably the, the, the big one that a lot of people aren't aware of, and uh, you should definitely be aware of that. And not all credit cards offer that. Um, you know, you gotta be a special, uh, you know, black card or something in some uh, uh, institutions to get that. With us, it's, it's, it's part of the package. You mentioned it, but can we go over again how the, the pendulum could swing toward a debit card if you have a particular type of checking account? Yeah, so if, um, if you, uh, so the debit card's available for all the products on the checking account. Um, the, the difference being if, uh, if you are able to keep a, a decent balance in there, right. and if you use your debit card, for us it's 12 times, if you use it 12 or more, 
then we will pay you a percent of your average balance. So it's, uh, it's a way not only to get a free checking account, but you'll actually earn money on your checking account. And very few people offer that benefit. A lot of people will say they have free checking account when actually you've got minimum balances and certain uh, things that'll trip a wire and it's, it turns into a feed account. Again, focus on profit uh, versus uh, Credit Union Northwest where we focus on helping. Anything else you want to add about credit cards and debit cards? Well, if you're looking for a checking account, uh, debit card, credit card, um, and searching for what uh, is the best product for you, stop searching, go Northwest. And it's the debit card that gets used at the ATM, right? Yeah, and that's a great point about ATM. So a lot of people just assume if uh, you're out traveling vacation and you're in a foreign environment where they don't have an ATM that's with your bank, that you're just gonna pay a foreign ATM fee. And that's true for most people. Just know at Northwest, we have a network of over 30,000 ATMs. So pretty much anywhere you're at, you use whatever ATM is available and, uh, and there's no foreign ATM fee. And if there is, we'll, we'll waive it or pay it for you to cover you. And so that's another benefit of going with Northwest versus maybe a large bank. I'd like to thank today's guest, Jeff Bentley, President and CEO of Northwest Federal Credit Union. I'm your moderator, Bruce Allen. For more on this discussion, visit WTOP.com and search Northwest Federal Credit Union.